Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I'm devoted to studying accents and voices on a monthly basis. Uh, so for voices uh, this month, uh, we are going to cover Jack Nicholson. I'm going to lay out as best I can what I think the elements of the Jack Nicholson voice are, and uh, then apply those elements to song lyrics. Ta-da! Here's Johnny! Right. Uh, well, this is uh, a picture of me. This is what I call the Mattoon. It's a picture of me with my glasses on, and uh, it's to illustrate where the voice is living in my mouth. Now, even though the illustration makes it look like I'm all bloated and you know, spreading my mouth out, what, what I'm trying to uh, illustrate here is that uh, the Jack Nicholson voice lives in a very, very spacious, cavernous place in the mouth. It's very flexible, very watery. And we'll get to that idea uh, very soon. But the resonance is down in the back of the mouth and up also. So it's occupying that chamber right there in the throat and right at the soft palate entrance sort of thing. So very wide, but also that rasp, which can cause a very, very sort of husky sound, especially in his later years, and uh, the very hissy uh, crackle sound. Now, the um, essence of the Jack Nicholson character and voice, uh, again, this isn't how Jack Nicholson really sounds. It's uh, more if you want to do a character or if I'm faced with a character and the author references Jack Nicholson as the persona, or if I'm uh, finding that a character would, would be well played starting with the Jack Nicholson persona. Um, so what is it? Uh, well, the quality of his voice and his uh, essence to me is very much like the surface of water. Um, Jack Nicholson seems to embody the classic cool, the filmic acting cool of reacting, not acting. He rarely is pushing out, um, except uh, perhaps in his more stylized roles like in The Shining or the 1989 Batman. But for the most part, he's reacting to things that are coming at him. And just like a body of water that's rippling here and rippling there and very, very still, very, very fluid, words flowing into each other, tones flowing into each other, but occasionally if there's a disturbance, there's a little bit of a disruption, and but it always comes back to that flow, flow, flow. Now, is it all smooth and flowy? No, of course not. Uh, part of what makes uh, Jack Nicholson dynamic is that flow interrupted by spikes, you know, also illustrated in his wonderful eyebrows. Um, so, yeah, occasionally there is a staccato spike when he is uh, trying to, uh, with his mouth, jab a point home. Um, or if he's coming across something that is irritating him, his character is coming across something that's irritating them uh, in The Shining. few foot-pounds of pressure per second per second. So there is a staccato stab sometimes with his words, but remember it always again shades back down into that flow. Uh, so if we take the lyrics, it's been building up inside of me and we want to stab it. Well, it's been building up inside of me for oh, I don't know how long. Then we've got the surge, like a like a wave swell, just coming up. Um, again, this uh, this is more uh, I find with Jack Nicholson's later years. Um, I'm thinking particularly as good as it gets, where Greg Kinnear is uh, doing the uh, Jack Nicholson accent, impersonating him. Well, here I am, sweetheart. Um, remember, even though there's the boom and the surge, there's still the flow. Here I am. There's the uh, sensation, the feelings that are going on uh, that uh, his characters are experiencing as things are coming at them. Um, so this feeling of savoring words and pleasure and pain and pleasure and pain. And sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the two. Um, and uh, that croak effect, too. Uh, you'll see in the song that I do, it, the croak doesn't come across as much. But there is sometimes that effect. Um, so if we take it's been building up inside of me, there could be as many as three emotions that are that are coming in that, well, it's been building up inside of me for oh, I don't know how long. And also like the arrhythmic uh, flowing of water, if like something has, has uh, disturbed it, like if a boat's gone by and there's this kind of thing. Um, also, that can be uh, Jack Nicholson's speech rhythms. 
Um, he takes breaths when he wants them. He uh, will sometimes clear his throat. I'm thinking in particular uh, Cuckoo's Nest, uh, The Shining, um, as good as it gets. There are just times where he's just he just will randomly... <clears throat> Uh, and then get himself warmed up in the middle of you know his speech or his or his scene. Uh, it's it's very very authentic. So you know that's one of the elements of his magic. So we could l or literally do. Um, well, it's been building up inside me. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> been building up inside of me. Or we could do. Well, it's been building up inside of me. Or you can insert a laugh in there. Well, it's been building up inside of me. So, it is song time. It's time to take all these elements and the charisma that goes along with them and uh, apply them to song lyrics. I was very fortunate that I chose to wear this hat tonight. It was mostly just to just to keep snuggly and warm, but I realized, oh my goodness, this is like his cuckoo's nest hat. So, uh, without further ado, uh, Jack Nicholson, um, Don't Worry Baby from the Beach Boys. Well, it's been building up inside of me for I don't know how long. I... Don't know why, but I keep thinking something's bound to go wrong. But she looks in my eyes, makes me realize when she says, Don't worry, baby. I guess I should have kept my mouth shut when I started to brag about my car, but I can't back down now because I pushed the other guys too far. Baby, when you race today, just take along my love for you, and if you knew how much I love you, nothing could go wrong with you. Well, she does to me when she <clears throat> makes love to me, and she says, don't worry, baby. Everything will turn out all right. Don't worry, baby. And that's Don't Worry Baby from the Beach Boys. Music by Kevin McLeod gives this stuff out. Royalty-free, public domain. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, so, is this the Jack Nicholson video? Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you have any experience with the Jack Nicholson voice or have any sort of uh, other tropes that you think apply to the Jack Nicholson voice, uh, please put them in the comments below, and I will see you next time.